Whoa, look at this, it's insane. <laughs>brand new Xiaomi 11 T Pro and let me just say having used this for over a week now this is not your standard mid-range smartphone because there are a couple of features in here that would put flagship smartphones to shame and that's what I want to talk about in this review as well as talking about the hardware software performance cameras all the rest of it help you answer whether or not you should consider buying this your time is valuable so let's quickly unbox this this is the box that it comes in and this is the silicon case that's included inside. It's nice and simple, but it does the job. And then this is the USB-C cable. Now this is really important because you need to pair this up with this absolutely enormous brick, which is the 120 watts fast charger. Now without this brick, you're not gonna get that fast charge capability. So this is really important and it's heavy and thick, but it does the job. And finally, this is the device. Check out that color, absolutely stunning. Now this does come in a range of different colors, but this is a celestial blue. So you've got this combination of purple, blue, silver, all thrown into one. You can see that large camera bump on the back, the Xiaomi logo with the 5G. It is a really, really nice device. Looking around the device, you'll notice on the right side, you've got the power button, which now doubles up as a fingerprint scanner, really easy to set up and works reliably. And that's next to the volume rocker. Down at the bottom, you have a dual SIM tray, and that's next to a USB-C port with the first part of the stereo speakers. The other part are at the top there, and these are tuned by Harman Kardon, and they sound pretty decent, check these out. And check out that display, it is absolutely stunning. Now, if you look carefully around it, you'll notice it's not curved because this is a flat display. It's 120 hertz refresh, absolutely smooth and flawless with 480 hertz touch sampling. It is a very, very vibrant display. It supports up to a thousand nits of brightness, which is very, very handy here in the Middle East. And one of the things that you'll notice about that display is the color accuracy, the vibrancy, particularly if you're multimedia, gaming, all that good stuff looks very, very nice on that display. Okay, real talk. I normally leave battery conversation till later on in the video, but I can't not mention it earlier on because it's one of the standout features. Not only do you get a whopping 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which for most people is more than enough. Even for me, I'm a heavy user, but check this. Plug this thing in with that, you know, chunky charger and you're gonna get from 2% to 100% charge. So we're not talking fast charge, we're talking hyper charge, which is absolutely incredible. Guys, just look at the numbers rise, man. It is insane. I wish my bank account rose like that every second. Kudos to Xiaomi for not only introducing this, but also introducing this in a mid-range smartphone. Now, the long-term impact of this is gonna be interesting to see, and I will report back on that later on. Xiaomi are saying that even after 800 cycles, this shouldn't impact the battery health too much, down to about 80% battery health, which is pretty decent. Now, weirdly enough, even though you do get hypercharged, if you're looking for wireless charging or even reverse wireless charging, that's not gonna be available in there, but I rather take 2% to 100% in 17 minutes over reverse wireless charging, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. So as far as performance is concerned, this is powered by the Snapdragon 888 processor. It's a five nanometer chipset paired up on my model with eight GB of RAM and 256 gigabyte of storage. Now, I think most people will be happy with this, this combination and day to day, no issues whatsoever with lag, multitasking, all that good stuff. I think the Snapdragon processor certainly helps not only in videography, photography, particularly because there's a lot of AI elements used in that, but also graphic intensive games. So I've played a couple of titles, not all of them support the 120 Hertz refresh, but some of them that do give you a really, really nice gaming experience. Now I commonly get asked about heating. This does get warm on the back, particularly around the camera when I was filming 8K and also when I was playing extensive gaming. So we're talking about more than about 25 minutes of back-to-back -back gaming, you will start to notice it get warm, but nothing that really results in overheating 
and meaning that you have to shut this down. So software wise, this is powered by Android 11. It has Xiaomi's own skin on top of that, which is MIUI 12.5. This isn't going to be to everybody's liking, but generally speaking, MIUI has improved over the years. It's a lot cleaner, it's easier to navigate and customize, and it has less of the bloatware. So one of the other features that stands out on the 11T Pro is on the back that pro grade triple camera, and that's made up of 108 megapixel wide, and that's paired up with a two times tele macro, and then an ultra wide camera. Now on this camera, Xiaomi have made a focus on the cine magic, which is around the video element. I'll talk about that in a moment, but as far as day to day, normal photography with this triple camera setup, you're gonna expect pretty decent results. I found ultra wide going all the way up to about 2X to perform really, really well. You get good color accuracy, vibrancy details in those images taken. Where things start to break apart is from 5X onwards, going all the way up to 10X, which pretty much looks like a water painting. Now, when it comes to low light, the performance is actually very nice. I mean, it's good, again, for night mode shots. At 1X, you're gonna get the best of night mode shots, as you can see from some of these examples. Now, the big improvement for me, what I noticed compared to previous generations of Xiaomi smartphones, is in the video capabilities. This is that focus on Cinemagic. Now it will record 8K, 30 frames per second, which is pretty cool, but I think the real magic is in 4K HDR10+. Plus. And this is thanks to the AI computational capabilities of this smartphone. You're gonna be able to get much better video quality recorded with this triple camera, this pro-grade camera. And that's certainly noticeable with some of the clips that I've managed to capture. Okay, so here's an example of video, 4K, 60 frames per second, shot with this device. Now, what's interesting is that you are able to film 8K in 30 frames, and there's also a steady mode, but interestingly, the steady mode is capped at 1080p. So I'm filming this currently out and about, 4K, 60 frames in line with the rest of this video. Let me know what you think of the color accuracy, the contrast, the vibrancy, stabilization as well and also the audio. Comment below, what do you think? Where the video does fall down though is in night mode or low light conditions as you can see here. This is where I was expecting a further improvement just like it was in normal lighting, but you'll notice that details are lost in low light video performance. Now on the front, that selfie shooter is a 16 megapixel f2.5. It does a decent job with taking selfies and also video. Okay, just got out of the pool and I'm testing that front facing selfie camera. This is recording at a maximum 1080p, 60 frames per second. So no 4K filming. But as I move around, I think it does a pretty decent job with that front facing selfie camera. Let me know what you think, both of color, vibrancy, audio as well, and stabilization. That's a wrap. That's the Xiaomi 11T Pro. I think Xiaomi have demonstrated time and time again that you can throw in a ton of really cool specs at a competitive price point. This is certainly worth considering with that 120 hertz refresh and that whopping 120 watt hypercharge. Not even fast charge, hypercharge. Certainly an Android smartphone considering if you're looking for something like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Plus, if you're new around here, be sure to hit subscribe. Want to support me and this channel by seeing more content? Then also do join me as a Team MQAN member. All the information will be down below and I'll check you out in this other video next. Stay safe, peace and blessings.